you guys. Show and tell is on a downward spiral. Um, and it's very possible that she's going to get kicked out of her hotel pretty soon. Um, we'll talk about that as we go over Unicorn Pondu's coverage. Hi, hello again everyone. How are we? My name is Unicorn Pondu and welcome back to another video. I'm still not feeling super great so AI voice Brittany shall be taking over again. And with that all said and done, let's see what Chantal has to say today, shall we? Okay. All right. Sorry guys. My YouTube keeps crashing. So weird. Amy, I know it's like a weird hour for you guys, but... If it doesn't affect Chantal, then it doesn't matter. Right. Anyways, I'm finishing my lunch because I was mid-eating and they came to clean the room. So I went downstairs. I didn't want to wait today. And now I'm finishing up my, my lunch, which as you can see from the picture... Beige brown and more brown. Yummy. Was it fresh? I'm not eating the peas. I don't like little peas that much. And you're with your man? Sorry, I had... Wait. Are they peas or are they capers? What kind of little peas are you eating? Oh. You know, guys know the name of the scale? But you were, I think strawberries and cream? Somebody did do an actual video on the scale on the street. Were they holding on the machine itself to try to... Main word is try to appear less than what they weighed. But I heard your mama say this is interesting. People are like, it's not an accurate way because you were holding the scale. But I, I don't think it really matters. Because my whole body is... Yeah, it matters. I mean, if that's what you're presenting as your content, that this is where I am on my health journey, and it's not accurate, it matters. So I keep looking to your cow tipper, I guess still on the scale so next time i go on a scale i'm going to hold on to a counter for no reason hashtag skinny legend tips the fact that she's still so hooked on this scale debacle days after it's happened makes me think she knew what she was doing and got caught and whether i'm holding the scale or not it doesn't shouldn't really matter me it's, it's a Cronton brand i don't know I, I didn't i don't yeah it does matter because you're not standing upright on the scale and we don't even know if you had both legs on it. Let's be real. Do you want me to do a demonstration video? To show you what it looks like when I have one leg on the scale and one arm on my um, counter? For real? I don't care enough beyond just weighing myself. I know, why would you... <laughs> She's always off by a long shot. I don't, I don't know what the big deal is. Like, what's the tea in? This is the scale Foodie Beauty used on the street. <laughs> She's so annoying. Here's one of the clips of her on the scale holding it and her weight fluctuating a lot. Um. Tell me, does this seem very plausible that a scale would jump up this much just from standing on it normally? Also remember this isn't pounds that's being changed. It's kilos. One kilo is roughly 2.2 pounds. Honestly, I forgot about this whole thing until she mentioned it again. Either get a new topic or prove that you're not lying. It's not that serious. It's probably not completely accurate, but I don't think it's like way off because usually when I weigh myself, that's uh, as much as I... Well, it probably is way off because you keep bringing it up and you're very insecure about it. Actually, way. And anyways, as I've always said, why would I lie about my weight? When I don't even care if people think that I'm 500 pounds. I don't care. It, it has zero effect on my life. Oh no, somebody thinks I'm 500 pounds, so how does this affect my life? I don't know. You tell us. You literally are so miserable and have absolutely nothing to do with your vacation that you'd rather fight with your haters than do something halfway productive. You think, oh shucks, I'm gonna go kick some rocks. No, I don't give a scrap of crap. How many outfits did you bring? <laughs> I don't have very many clothes that I... That cover me entirely and I don't have to worry. But this is one of the shirts that... It's not a shirt. It's a dress. It goes all the way down to your ankles. I don't know why you're calling it a shirt. 
And the thing is, uh, you already admitted you have a stain on it yesterday. So why are you wearing it again? You know, I, I, I was so out of it yesterday because I was so tired. Uh-huh. I'm still wearing the same clothes. <laughs> I need to get a whole bunch of new clothes, new dishes. Because you know what? When I get home, I'm making French onion soup. I need some dishes for that. I got to order them now. Oh, love, I just wanted to say thank you for doing whatever you did to make <clears throat> calories so much. You put her socks on while standing up. <laughs> oh, you're, are you the one who made the video game from Breezy? <laughs> Hey, you're funny. I think I said, Olaf, just, um, she said she could put her, her socks sta on standing up. Should I try putting my socks on standing up and see what happens? I can put them on backwards standing up. That's no problem. Do you guys put your socks on standing up or sitting down? I do both. I'm lazy. I don't want to sit to do it if I can do it standing. No. I'm disabled. I am not putting my socks on standing up. And even at my best... Uh, abilities when I was a toe dancer and I had really great balance I wasn't putting socks on standing up that's a fucking ridiculous concept like why would you do that especially like if you're, you're fit you would go all the way down to the floor and sit on the floor and put your socks on I don't think Kalari can do that so I don't know why you're, like, so freaked out by that chick. Because she clearly has her own issues. Right? So, you know, just knock it off. Only psychopaths put on socks standing up. Well, that explains a lot of things. Marianne, hey, sister, I always put my socks on sitting down. Okay, so why are people making fun of me? Because most people put them on with their leg on their knee. At least that's how I do it when I'm sitting... Okay, well, this is me finding out that apparently no one does it that way, according to Google Images anyways. I thought it was weird putting my socks on. It's like putting on... Yeah, most people just lift their leg up slightly and slip on their sock unless they have problems with their legs. So I'm right there with you, Unicorn Pondu. I actually cross my legs at this point to put my socks on because I have leg issues right i slipped my right knee in um 2008 i've had several ankle rolls um i have sprained both feet i was bit by an attack dog behind my left knee i have nerve damage up and down my leg um, so, yeah, I generally cross my legs when I'm putting my socks on. Pants sitting. I put my pants on sitting down. Do you want to see how I put my pants on? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean, I already have pants on, but I have a bad balance. I can't do standing up without leaning on a wall. I mean, yeah, I don't have the best balance, so I'm going to get some socks. I want to see what I can do. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm not sure that I have clean socks. I only brought like two pairs. I need to get more things. So in between her not washing her clothes, she's only had two pairs of socks? Yeah. Well, and also they're nylon. They're not even... Uh, she bought all those Timu socks that were cotton and didn't bring them. Probably because she can't reach her feet with two hands. That's the problem. She has a workaround that works with nylon because it's slippery. It's easier to get on. But she can't put on cotton socks, which puts her in danger. And, you know, the whole jaundice situation that she's trying to laugh off right now could be an indicator that her liver is failing. And if that's the case and she's not seeking medical treatment for it, she could potentially need to be on dialysis at this point. Um, it's getting scary for Chantel. And it sounds like she's about to be kicked out of the hotel. I swear I don't my nose. I don't think I can. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> now, we're gonna put them on. No, it's better to put 
the one sitting down for me. Uh, my belly is too belly in. <laughs> if she falls. Where's my other sock? Even in the hotel room, I'm losing socks. <laughs> I mean, I technically could bend down and put it on. You want me to? <laughs> By wearing socks is cardio. That's the workout, putting my socks on for the day. <laughs> we believe you. It's okay. I, I don't care. If I can't put my socks on properly, the normal way doesn't bug me as long as they get put on. That's okay. What should I do tonight, by the way? I'm not here for much longer. I wonder if I should go back to Asiatique. You guys want to go on that big sky wheel, but we'll be by ourselves. No Salah. Can I go on one of those by myself or will it tilt this way? Without any weight on the other side. I can show you how I clip my toenails. No, 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 why don't you just send, like, show us the finished product? We don't need to see you, like, actually getting it done. A motorcycle. How much does a motorcycle weigh? You can do it, Chantel. I guess I'll just learn how to say, am I too fat for this in a toy? <laughs> Cold answer, my ass. <laughs> is that what we're going to do? We're going to go there tonight? What else is there to do, though? Eat? We can go see the fountain lady. It's going to remind me of Salah. Or Chinatown, but I'm not like too hyper to go there because it's a, it's humid out. Yes, I want a bees. There's also a haunted house, but I might be too fat for that for real. Okay, do you guys want to go to Asiatique or to a night market? I love how she's such a damsel that she can't even figure out what to do, even though she's been there before and probably knows Thailand better than any of the beezers. Right. But Asiatique is more fun because there's a night market inside of it, but there's also like, you know, pet stores. When I go back to Kuwait, we can go to Pet Zone and see. Stay away from the pet stores, please. You're freaking everybody out with this because we've seen how you behave around pets and um, you should not be around pets at all. We can pet those long hair bunnies when no one's looking. Oh if God. you have to do it when no one's looking, you might not be allowed to weirdo. Let's do the more fun one. Red Light District. I probably would go take you there if I weren't a hijabi, because I'm sure it'll look very strange. Sweetest love of the 10th degree! Hi, sweetest love. Great, he's here, skipping more than I already was. By the way, <coughs> I got that paper under my door giving me shit for not, they're like, wait, I'll go get it. <sighs> Dear guest, thank you for staying with us. Daily room cleaning that requires cleaning every day. If you do not want to clean your room every day, the next cleaning must be within two days. According to the cleanliness measures set by the Ministry of Public Health regarding cleanliness for hotel businesses that provide daily room service. If there is a lot of garbage, please take it to the garbage room at the end of the corridor. What? I forgot about the garbage room at the end of the corridor. Oh, of course you did. Of course you forgot that there's a place where you can dispose of your trash. Right? Um, this is a stronger message than what she received earlier in the month that said that they need to clean at least every three days. So, yes, the staff, the hotel staff has been talking and um, they're not pleased with how she's keeping the room. And she also had, you know, the leak in her room. So she's she's already on their radar. And um if she doesn't get her act together, she's going to be kicked out before she needs to fly out. Corridor. Naturally. Imagine being so filthy that you literally have a semi-official letter telling you to not be a slob. A garbage room. We will clean your room tomorrow today. Please keep the makeup room sign on the door. If you don't let us clean the room tomorrow, damage may be charged on the day of checkout. I do it for, like, I do it so they don't have to clean every day. <laughs> I think that they're already going to hold whatever deposit she put down for staying at the, the hotel. And they may give her an additional bill for all of the additional damages she's done to the room. Okay, so if there's a lot, they want to keep the stick to them. No, I mean, it's not, after one day, your room is not dirt. Shouldn't be dirty, dirty, you know? Well, ma'am, that seems like it's more of a legal standard than a personal request. I didn't realize it was that long. I thought it was only two days. So today they had to clean it. 
Let's go check out the, the garbage room makes a lot of sense. I didn't know that was there because then I can just go bring all my takeout garbage. They, they gave us this, this slip the last time, babe. <laughs> Remember? Because I was like, they don't want ants. Yeah, that's true. Because if you have a lot, if you have garbage to make sure you aren't trashing your room. <laughs> yeah, true. They're going to say, oh, she doesn't clean her room. No, I do. I keep my room clean. But had to be told on a note. Sure, Jan. I'd love to be a fly on the wall whenever the cleaning services go in her room when she's not there. And tidy. That's why I don't need it clean every day. <clears throat> really? You think so? You think that it was clean when you left popcorn all over your bed and the floor? Do you think it's uh, clean when you're leaving food containers out? You're going to get cockroaches in that hotel room. You're absolutely gross. And uh, you, I hope that they do charge you because that's fucking gross. This is a business that needs to rent that room out to somebody else after you leave. And you're just destroying their property. Why would you do that? Why would you be that fucking lazy? You know, but I do have like... I eat out, right? Like twice a day. So I have a lot of trash. But usually it's empty. But yeah, if I have my garbage bags I brought with me from home. So I can just bring the trash myself so that there's no trash in my room. Is it empty? Are you taking it to the sink and washing it out? I mean, you said you got some dish soap. Did you? Did you get some dish soap that you could like wash out some of the plastic containers and maybe reuse them? So that when you get a bag of soup, you have something to put it in? Like, do you think, do you use your noodle? The trash, I've just been, like, I have these bags from home. Okay, number one, who brings garbage bags with them to a hotel? A Airbnb, sure, but a hotel? So I just take a trash bag and I put my trash, and then I just pile the trash here all around this garbage so you know because i didn't know there was like a garbage room you can bring your own garbage to should have read that better the paper i just read it now and that excites me because i hate when it piles up yeah i pile it like if there's garbage i just put it here in one corner i don't leave it strewn around the room you know and that's supposed to be better because so apparently they have regulations here if you you have to have your room cleaned every other day but in canada i don't think they have that pile it means keep it all the yeah like piling it but yeah just keeping it all they have it for you chantelle because the maid staff has been reporting you. They have it for you because you're that gross. In the same pile. Yeah, in the same group. I mean, you're in a hotel, having them clean your room every day is such a luxury, I guess. He realizes, yeah, because he's trying to uh, learn English more. Are you trying to learn his language more? Not enough, no. You really need to learn Arabic. You need to assimilate. <laughs> I know it's a give and take. My husband is Mexican and I haven't learned much, but he also helped me practice. Learning Arabic at 40 is different for, than him, okay? He went to school learning English. <laughs> <This is laughs> I know Habibi. That's all I need. And you have no desire to learn anything new at your current age. Period. You just want to play around on watching React channels and producing your non-content and like you have no desire to improve yourself whatsoever no you went to school learning french as your first language if you wanted to you would have by now it's been almost two years okay how old do i look no bs i need to know i need to keep tabs no comment i don't think you'd like my answer if i look forward i need to know i need to step up my health my, my skincare game i'm really trying to be good here um, you look like a grandmother. You look like a grandma. You look like somebody who it's hard to peg an age on you because you're so fat that it's filling out the wrinkles. No comment, no comment, no comment. I'm actually 80. I have the body of an 80 year old. Can you do some true crime in the future? Maybe. People lose an arm and a leg whenever they hear me talk about True crime? What do you mean not while doing the thing? Because you're insensitive when you do it. You don't know how to cover true crime. Because you're super insensitive when you cover it. And you're giggling the whole time. It's weird. 
34, 36, 35, 31, 38. Do you hear the thunder? At least someone else said it. And that's being very gracious. How old do I think I look? Yeah, late 30s. It's such a tricky question because there's some younger aspects about her face, but also on the same level, very age-defying stuff going on at the same time. She's so big, any sort of facial structure is just lost due to fat. Yeah. 44? Oh, whatever, Melanie, you're such a hater. 32? Thank you, baby. Anyway, yeah, if it rains tonight, that'll put a damper on everything, won't it? I hate taking taxis here. Oh, my gosh, I hate it. Ugh, I need to take some anti anti nausea medication. They have Dremamine in Thailand? Well, I didn't see any. <coughs> Isn't that funny? I just mentioned that on uh, the video I did last night. Mm-hmm. My stomach growing? Oh. I think I'll make a coffee. It's the, one of the, the, the luxuries of having a hotel room, okay? Straws. Because you order out, and also now thinking about it, the quantity of food you order, some people might think there's multiple people feasting on your meals. And here's Chantal cleaning. No thank you. Yeah, you're right, Unicorn Pondu. It could be perceived by the hotel staff based on her consumption that uh, she's having parties in that room god damn Chantel damn girl <laughs> do you I can't uh, you don't know when you're being trolled you really don't oh my god yes I stopped here for a thumbnail no you may not ask questions <laughs> they're frog this always comes off Ugh, babe I used all your pillows that's one thing about you not being in here I guess <laughs> Remember when I got here, I was tired, and I plugged my CPAP in and called for extra pillows? Do, 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 do. All right, yellow. Forever and ever. Do you really want to live forever? Yes. And we're going to 7-Eleven. Uh, no. she's doing her best not to actually capture people's faces but do you notice how everybody else just like is dressed like tourists wearing shorts and t-shirts and stuff and there she is wearing as much fabric as possible and making herself absolutely miserable that was a full elevator Um, hold on, I gotta wash my hands. 
I'll be right back. Anime sucks. There are times I think about you and I feel my heart ripping in a house since I'm not with you. It's like this downward pulling feeling. <laughs> yeah, right. You troll. Thank you for the super chat. Once a month, a piece of cake? Melanie, please. Please. Yeah, I can't say I'm having cake multiple times a week, unfortunately. I don't want to, why do you want to go to the garbage room? What is wrong with you people? <laughs> Trash bees. <coughs> Grub is in the hut. God damn, girl. You're out of tune every time you try and sing something. Groove is in the heart. How can you fuck up every song except for Madonna, which is like the easiest pop shit ever? That said, thank you all so much for watching, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye! This is everything I'm eating this week. Let me show you why. All you need to... Um, thank you, Unicorn Pondu, for capturing the content. Um, she is going to get kicked out of that hotel pretty soon. And if not, she's going to have an amazing bill for damages. It's, it's really sad. Anyhow, I will tag you. I will put the link. And um, my goodness. Oh, my God. She's really on a downward spiral at this point. You know? If you're getting to the point where they're giving you basically legal notices, that's kind of like um, if an employee is being disciplined and first they get a verbal warning and then they get a written warning and then they get terminated, right? Chantel doesn't have much left before they kick her out of the hotel, but they're probably documenting their attempts to correct her behavior at this point. Um, wow. Girl. <clears throat> it's time to be an adult. <laughs>